okay so now we will talk about the sterilization and disinfection now sometimes short answer questions as asked about this sterilization and disinfection techniques so first we have to know what is the definition of this sterilization and disinfection what is the meaning of these words so coming first to the sterilization so sterilization is a process by which all the microorganisms including the viable spores are destroyed or removed from a surface so sterilization means removing of all the microorganisms including the spores which were being formed in the unfavorable conditions by the bacteria so those spores will also be removed when those spores including all the microorganisms are removed then the process is called as sterilization and disinfection is the process by which most if not all most if not all microorganisms are destroyed or removed but spores may or may not be destroyed so here in disinfection the two most important words in not words the collection of words uh, the most important part of the definition of the disinfection is that it is most if not all microorganisms okay and the second most important is spores may or may not be destroyed okay so these are the two most important parts of the definition of the disinfection that disinfection is a process by which most if not all microorganisms are destroyed or removed but spores may be removed or may not be removed it is not compulsory in this uh, disinfection that spores will be removed but it is compulsory in sterilization process that the spores should have been uh, uh, should, should have been removed okay so two most important definition uh, differences between the sterilization and disinfection are uh, in case of sterilization all microorganisms are removed strictly all microorganisms are removed but in case of disinfection most if not all okay so here not uh, all microorganisms are not removed but most of them are removed in disinfection so this is the first difference the second difference is that in sterilization process all the spores should also be removed but in disinfection spores may or may not be destroyed the spores may be present on the surface okay if not destroyed by the disinfectant so these are the two most important differences between the sterilization process and the disinfection process then the third definition is of antisepsis so antisepsis is a process by which microorganisms are destroyed or removed from the body surfaces so when we are removing the microorganism from the body surfaces we call it as antisepsis but in case of uh, physical surfaces of any physical object on the surface uh, when we are talking about uh, the surface of any uh, machine or any object which is being used anywhere uh, physical objects then then we uh, use the terms ster like sterilization and disinfection and we are talking about when we are talking about the surface of a living organism then we call it as antisepsis now whenever the uh, uh, short answer question is asked on sterilization or short note is asked on sterilization then you have to write the definition of the sterilization then you have to write the methods of sterilization and all the methods should be described in few words like I will tell you in this video next so the methods of sterilization we have got two methods one is the physical method other one we have is the chemical method so coming first to the physical methods so if we talk about the physical methods then we have sunlight the first method is the sunlight uh, why sunlight is acting as a uh, uh, you know as a sterilizing um, method so or a sterilizing yeah method so uh, uh, sunlight is acting as a sterilizing substance because it has got some uv light those uv rays from the sunlight cause the genetic uh, changes in the genetic material of the bacteria and thereby causes death of those bacteria and hence it acts as a sterilizing process or sterilizing method other than that we have the drying so by drying we can also uh, sterilize any 
object so but here the scores are unaffected so this is not a good way of sterilization okay so drying is not a good way of sterilization because spores are unaffected but microorganisms may be killed if they are not forming spores then the microorganisms may be killed by drying due to dehydration so drying is the second method of the steri second physical method of the sterilization process then we have the dry heat method and moist heat method and also we have radiation so in radiation we have uh, ionizing radiation like gamma rays we can use for sterilizing sterilizing uh, process other than that we can use non ionizing radiations as well like the infrared rays and the uv rays these may also be used for sterilizing process but the two most important physical methods we have talked about three methods like sunlight drying and radiation but the two uh, most important of the physical methods are the dry heat method and the moist heat method now in the dry heat method we have got in the dry heat method we have got four ways okay that is hot air oven that is one way by which we can sterilize then red hot flaming sometimes these two are uh, taken as a single entity okay so red hot or flaming uh, is sometimes talked as a single entity okay so but i have differentiated it in in uh, two parts the red hot separately and flaming uh, as a separate process but they are sometimes taken as a single unit and other than that we have incineration though basically these are three uh, methods of dry heat sterilization okay so what is the concept behind this uh, dry heat sterilization the concept behind this dry heat sterilization is that so this dry heat which is um, uh, which is lacking any moisture that causes denaturation of the proteins and causes oxidative damage to the organisms the most important point here is the oxidative damage okay so it causes oxidative damage to the organism and also as it is dry heat so we we know from the uh, knowledge of biochemistry that excess amount of heat causes denaturation of the proteins so also here the excess amount of dry heat causes denaturation of the proteins of the bacteria enzymes of the bacteria and thereby causes death of the organism other than that, other than that it can also cause the oxidative damage so these uh, this is the concept behind this use behind using this dry head dry heat uh, methods okay and this concept is used in three processes that is hot air oven okay then incineration and red hot and flaming in these uh, processes the concept of dry heat is being used other than that the most important uh, math physical method of uh, sterilization is the moist heat method okay let's first see uh, where do we use this all dry heat method so red hot method is used in the uh, used to sterilize the inoculating loops and wires you must have seen in your microbiology labs that whenever you are uh, collecting any colonies from a culture media then you first uh, red heat or uh, red heat your uh, inoculating loop by placing it uh, in a vertical position over the flame uh, and you keep it like that until the loop becomes red hot so uh, the red hot, red hot method or the flaming method is used for sterilization of the inoculating loops or wires then tips of forceps whenever we are using uh, or whenever we are uh, we want to do it uh, and do uh, sterilization of it we use this red hot or flaming method then incineration method is used for contaminated cloths physiological materials and some non-plastic biomedical wastes are also incinerated for sterilization so these are the different objects what we use um, in, in this different methods of different physical methods of sterilization coming to the moist heat so uh, in the moist heat again we have got different methods but uh, uh, the concept behind this moist heat different moist heat methods is the denaturation and the coagulation of the protein there it was oxidative damage okay oxidative damage to the organism but here it is coagulation of proteins plus denaturation so this is the basic uh, basic you know basic concept behind all this uh, moist heat physical methods so what are those 
most hit physical methods which are using this concept to sterilize the objects the con uh, the different methods of uh, um, which are using the concept of moist heat are can be divided in based on temperature like some methods which are operable or which are operated above 100 degrees centigrade which are operated which are operated above 100 degree centigrade these are which are operated above 100 degree centigrade this is autoclave then those which act which are operated at 100 degree centigrade itself those are boiling and tindalization okay so boiling is used for killing bacteria but boiling does not kill the spores and tindalization is done for the sugar medias okay tindalization is done for sugar medias and in case of tindalization we keep the um, we keep the material which is to be sterilized uh, at 100 degree centigrade for 20 minutes okay so this is the duration uh, for which we keep the object for tindalization okay process so that the object can be sterilized and the object which is or the thing which or the substance which is sterilized by the method of tindalization is the sugar media the sugar medias which we use in the microbiological uh, labs those uh, sugar medias are uh, sterilized by the process of tindalization now there are some other tech uh, i mean other methods are also which are operated below 100 degrees centigrade those methods are the so those methods are the pasteurization and inspissation okay pasteurization and inspissation so in case of pasteurization we keep the uh, substance which is to be sterilized at 60 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes okay and then we quickly cool it to 30 degrees centigrade and pasteurization is done in case of milk and inspissation so how do we do inspissation so uh, to ins uh, in inspissation process we keep the object at 85 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes and this is done for three consecutive days okay then the object is inspissated and is sterilized so this is the uh, this is a broad view about the different ma physical methods by which we sterilize the objects among these some of the processes or the methods are very important which are asked individually in the exams like the hot air oven is individually asked like the autoclave is individually asked so we will talk about them separately in other videos now coming to the chemical methods so chemical methods are uh, very less very easy they are okay so uh, coming to the chemical methods we have we have some uh, gaseous chemicals some liquid chemicals which are being used for the sterilization process in liquids we have got alcohol phenol lysol these all uh, we have got these are used for this into disinfect the skin and, um, and this is used, okay. used for disinfection of the skin and here we use 70 percent alcohol okay so in uh, liquid chemicals we have got alcohol phenol and lysol these are all the chemical methods that we use for disinfection of the skin and in case of gaseous we have got ethylene oxide and formaldehyde gas so ethylene oxide is used for sterilization of respirators heart machines and the dental equipment now you have to remember these names because these are asked in the uh, vivas also that ethylene oxide is ethylene oxide is generally called as eto okay this is called as eto ethylene oxide not ethylene tetraoxide it is ethylene oxide eto okay so uh, eto is used for sterilization of respirators heart machines and the dental equipments then also we have formaldehyde gas that is used for sterilization of ot's okay so operation theaters are sterilized with the help of this formaldehyde gas so these are all the chemicals what we use for sterilization of different things this is all about the sterilization process.